It's three degrees outside with a 14 mile an hour wind. I'm not sure exactly what the wind chill is, but it is nasty cold out there. This is the future trapdoor woodworks. I got to get insulation on here, a ceiling, lights, electricity, all that stuff. And until I can get that done, I'm working out of this shelter logic shed in a box. And today, I'm going to polish up my table saw top. Okay, this should go fairly quick. None of this rust looks like it's very deep. I use this saw all the time, but it was stored in an unconditioned space. Well, this isn't conditioned either, but the size of this space and it being winter, it's not going to get rusty in here. And by the time the high humidity returns, this will be a conditioned space. So I'm going to do this wing table and the main table here. And the only two grits I have here are 120 and 50. I would have rather used 80, but I'll give it a quick hit with the 50 and take off the main rust and then go over it with the 120. I brought this out, Evapo Rust. I was gonna use that on it, but this rust really isn't that bad. So I think the sandpaper is gonna take it off by itself. But if I need to, I'll use some of that as well. Before I forget, I have these waxes that I'm gonna wax the top with. I believe this is Landmark. I really can't see it anymore. These are from my old wood shop and they've been sitting in storage for, what is it, 12 years now? And got some sliding compound. I don't even know if they make this anymore. These are frozen solid. These were in the shed. So I'm letting these warm up while I'm doing this. And I'll open all these up and see what they look like afterwards. And we'll apply one of these waxes to the polished top. This DeWalt sander is from my old shop. You can tell because it's a corded tool. Most of my new tools these days are battery operated. Can you get this plugged in and get to work? over to 120 and finish it up.
these sanding discs are nice and stiff and get into these cracks really well, it's an awesome use for them before you toss them away. This table saw has been through a lot in its life. This was set up in a shelter logic shelter for maybe five or six years and it was partially buried into the ground. I took it out of there and rebuilt it when we got our new shed and put it in there but it still wasn't climate controlled and the tabletop just rusts every once in a while. Checking these edges for sharpness. Don't want that. We also don't want to widen the miter slot, so got to go kind of easy in here. All right. Beautiful. Now I just got to blow this down and get it waxed. Unfortunately, I don't have compressed air in here yet, so blowing it down is a manual kind of thing. All right, let's see what these waxes look like. Doesn't look the best, but looks like it's gonna work. When I wax my iron tables like this, I press down real nice and hard and push the wax into any pores or defects. The wax is picking up the nastiness that I sanded off of this. After you get the wax nice and worked in, you can wipe off the excess and your tabletop should be really smooth and your hand should glide over it real nice and easy. That's what you're looking for. Okay. Well, that didn't take too long. Some of you are never going to have a rusty table like that, but a lot of you are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't have a conditioned space, you're going to get condensation on your tables and they're going to rust. So you got to take that rust off every once in a while. I've had four shops in my lifetime and only one of them was a conditioned space. It was in the basement. The other ones were all in unheated garages. Okay, so now that this is done, I think I'll move it out of here right away and eventually I figured the table saw is going to go right in this area right here and if I have really long material, I can just open the door. The back side of the shop is going to be right here. That's plenty of room. I can get something that's maybe 16 feet into the saw and then the same out of the saw through the door there. So I guess I'll just move it right here as long as it's out of the way of the door there and move this in there. I'm gonna clean the table and the fence on this and then put my new Shelix cutter head in here. I'll be starting the video on that tomorrow with the cleaning and hopefully by the end of the week I'll get that cutter head on it. All right, let's move that saw out of here.
Okay. This is actually the first time I've seen the jointer in this good of a light. And yeah, it's pretty bad. This is all surface rust, but I'm not going to leave this on here. I think I'll take this stuff apart and I'll probably blue this stuff, get a nice new black finish on it. I'm not going to paint it, but like this surface right here, I'm going to have to get that cleaned as well. The two mating surfaces probably aren't rusty, but it's rusty on that edge right there. Yeah, wherever I can, I'll get these pieces off, these black pieces, and I'll apply some bluing to those. I'll get rid of this. I was going to put all this stuff on some cardboard on the floor, but this iron is so freezing cold, I decided to leave this up off the floor and let it warm up a little bit. I'll work on this tomorrow. I'll let the heater go all night. And I have it going into the cabinet here, so the heat comes out right here, but it's going to warm the tables up a little bit as well. This is just freezing cold. So this is going to be more of a restoration than just a table polishing, but it is what it is. It shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully I can do it in this cold weather. I don't want to heat this little room with that heater 24 hours a day because that's expensive. But maybe I can take this stuff apart and go blue this in the house and then just put it back on out here. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Alrighty, so if you want to see this restoration, make sure you subscribe. And if you click on the notification bell, that little bell there right next to subscribe and click all, you'll receive the notification when I post the videos on this. It should be pretty interesting.